All right, how's it going, everybody? It's me, and I have a commentary. I know I'm finding some time here to make commentaries, which is nice. So let's get right into it. This commentary, I'm going to be talking about the transition of players, clans, and the community from MC3 to MC4. And um, so, well, right now there are some really solid MC3 clans out there. I mean, there's STK, yeah, yeah. Eon, FSK, MSU, which is kind of turning into SPU now, which is kind of interesting. And there's also clans like GMS and SMB, you know, all those really, the really solid clans. Um, and I feel like for these clans, the transition to MC4, skill-wise, will be near flawless. Because um, people who are good at, like, these kind of touch, like these touchscreen controls... Um, tend to be good at all of them. Like, I mean, you go from MC... If you play MC3, and you just go and try out MC2, you're not going to suck. You're going to be solid. And, uh, if you... Jesus, that guy's freaking owning me. Um, you're not going to be bad. And, I mean, I... It, it's pretty... I don't. It makes sense. I mean, I went to play Shadow Gun for the or Shadow Gun Dead Zone or whatever for the first time. My first game, I went like fourteen and zero. It wasn't even hard at all. The game is just super easy. Well, not super easy, but for me, I was able to pick up on it right away. But for those who are just going to be starting to, um, you know, pick up MC4, I guess that's not really transitioning from MC3, but those people are definitely going to struggle if they've never played a touch game like that, which, I mean, that's common sense. But another thing that's going to be a big, or will be a big factor is your device. And if you have an iPad 2, I was reading the Touch Arcade article, I think it was, and they said they were playing their demo on an iPad 2, and it was dropping frames. And they said it's definitely po um, a possibility that it's still in development. But if my iPad 2 is going to be dropping frames, I'm going to be kind of bummed out. I know I might have to go invest in an iPad 4 or something. Um, so I know there are some clans that are really confident that they're just going to, like, rape everyone in MC4. And that's good. There's nothing wrong with confidence. But you have to understand, this is a brand new game. We have no idea how this is going to play out. Remember all the people who in MC2 are like, oh, I'm just going to know life MC3 and be the best? It wasn't that easy. It required a whole new skill set, a whole new... You had to adapt to this whole new game, so it's not as easy as some people might think. Um, but I guess there really is no way to tell. Maybe it w the game style will be a lot like MC3. Nobody knows quite yet. Um, but also, the game might just be a flop. I've been... I was... I don't know, like, when I first saw the gameplay, I was like, oh, this is sick, and then I started having doubts, but now that the Dev Diary 2 for multiplayer came out, um, it's looking pretty up. I think it's gonna be solid, but the only problem for me are the maps. I don't feel like the maps are gonna be that great. I feel like there's no big... I don't know, I can't explain them, they just... It seems like it's all a bunch of little areas with no... It's just all one-on-one -on -one gunfights. Uh, I don't know, I can't explain it. Man, I just kind of own the kill feed there. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, next thing is strategy and tactics. If that's how the MC4 game will be played, uh, I think that might hurt a couple people. I, I mean, not physically hurt them, of course, but they might be hindered by it because um, almost all the people in MC3 and MC2 are just used to the run-and-gun style. MC2 is a little more passive. You can't just run into group. You're going to get raped. But MC3, if you have the right weapon and the right um, amount of skill, you should be good to go. You can run into a group of, like, four guys and usually come out with, like, three or four kills, you know. But in MC4, if it's strategical and tactical, that will not be the case. It's just um, people are going to um, run in and just get butt raped, I guess. I don't know. It's not going to be good. Like in MC3, basically the only forms of strategic and tactical um, gameplay is, well, there's one, there's flanking, but that's basically in all games. That's really simple. Then there's also spawn trap and your positioning on the map. And uh, almost, I mean, that's all common sense, too. That's nothing crazy or special. I mean, even idiots know to do that, except there's, like, always that dumb idiot in 
MC2 or will run up on the hill when you have everybody trapped and it's like dude just go back and play Angry Birds but uh yeah so what I want to talk about now is the community and how the community is going to transition um I know like over half the community died with uh, release of MC3 but I mean we gained some new people and, and nobody expected that because um MC2 grew the community so much from MC1 and then people are like, oh, MC3 will just be good too. But then we learn so much about how a game can just destroy a community, no matter how good the game. So I'm not sure how MC4 is going to do. I think that all the people who are in the community right now are going to stay. We might lose some old gen who will primarily play MC2. If you know what I mean. This is a fail. Yeah. So, um... I'm, I really hope the community can transition. I hope uh, most of the clans will stay. I can see a few clans like forming and changing to uh, MC4, maybe changing their name, kind of like what MSU did. They kind of took their best members and adapted. Right here, this is sick. One ZXD, you now I do a bank shot off the rock to get the people up on the bridge. Double. That was sick. So um, this game is wrapping up here. Uh... I guess that's all I really have to say. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope... Well, if you have any ideas, I mean, I'd love to hear them because I'm kind of kind of stuck here. I don't really know how everything's going to end up. So, anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.